What are you doing here? What does it look like? You're eating your heart out. No, just basking in the warmth of a soft May oh. evening. Why heart? You're a poet. Mm. My mother's side of the family. Mm. Well, I guess Julie must not be working tonight. Otherwise, you'd be in there following her every move, hoping for a kind word, a smile, a crumb. Oh, you are in rare form tonight. A little more on edge than usual, Blake. Any particular reason? Trouble with your uh, lawyer friend? It's Dad, actually. He just gave me a lecture on low self-esteem. Well, it's your own fault, Blake, for choosing to play the Roger Thorpe daddy game. Don't look for any sympathy from me. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> so what'd he say? It was all about the subject of marriage. Why certain middle-aged men are so wary of settling down. Hmm. Must have something to do with experience, wouldn't you say? I'm serious. I mean, look at Dad. Here he's got the richest woman in creation throwing what's left of a pretty hot youth after him. She's got a lot left, if you ask me. Well, whatever's left, you'd think it would be the perfect deal. I mean, they both have the same interests. Greed. And power. So why do you think Roger's not marrying Jenna? So peaceful. How can they be so utterly serene, innocent? You're sure good looking, isn't he? Yeah, I guess. Worth fighting for. Yeah. Have you talked to the birth mother? I mean, is she willing to put him up for adoption? Uh, well, not yet. Billy, we can't exactly take that to the bank. Well, you know, she may decide to keep him. Uh, if that's the case, Ross, so be it. Uh, she'll have lots of people to help her. But if she decides to pass on him, oh, I'm ready and willing. I don't know about you, but the thought of being a bachelor father terrifies me. Well, hopefully I won't be a bachelor that much longer. Thought I'd check out this soft May evening of yours. Mm. Your hamburger smells so good, I got one of my own. Oh, you're jealous of my burger now, huh? Oh, no way. Yours was just a basic burger. I added my own touches. See, we've got sharp cheddar and olives, bacon, chives. Oh, you lost me the olives. Oh, Black, you've done it again. Another culinary masterpiece. <laughs> I didn't see Julie's. Though. Eight o'clock is when she starts. Got a whole hour to wait for her? You gonna have that finished for her in time? What? That thing you're whittling. This? No. This is just a <clears throat> thing I'm whittling. First lap, it's real bear trap, isn't it? Nothing can feel so right, so forever. You can jump in anytime you feel like it, Hart. What do you want me to say? I want you to agree with me. Why? Because I'm going for something profound here. <sighs> okay, then I agree. I wonder what it would have been like to have been Ross's first love. Well, kind of a waste of time thinking of that one, isn't it? Probably never be anybody's first love again. You getting so profound, it's downright sad, Blake. Sad, but true. Well, look at the bright side. Mm -hmm. You'd always become a spinster. Well, maybe you've been married too many times for that. Blake, you're still here. Mm. I decided to, um, dine al fresco with my brother. <laughs> I heard you order onions and chives and olives. Got my mouth watering. Do you want a bite? <laughs> just the weeniest, teeniest. <laughs> Thanks, Juana. You just saved me about a thousand calories. Oh, any time. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm headed over to um, Billy's. Ross is going to be there. I'm taking you some papers. You want to lift? Oh, why not? Mm. See you later, Hart. Hey. See you later, sis. Hey, how are you? Hi. Black two shirts. Billy, he did it again. He moved. He moved his. Uh, he moved his right arm. Well, that means he's going to wake up soon. Yeah, well, when? Well, he'll let us know. Well, I want to see him when he's wide awake. Well, Pete, hey, mm -hmm. your Uncle Ross is here. He wants to talk to you. Uncle Ross is here. Hi. Hi. I got the divorce papers from Ross's secretary. Get out your pen. Oh, Wanda, darling, what would I do without you? Oh, you know better than to compliment me. 
I want bonuses. All right, get my pen. And your checkbook. And my checkbook. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 I was simply trying to wake up Peter. He's been asleep ever since I got him. Well, what did you want to say to him? What, goo goo, tay tay? Tay tay? I don't think so. <laughs> what do you want to say to him? Well, I have no idea. I've never been a parent before. Ah. But I do have some internal instincts lurking in me somewhere. Do you? Hmm. Well, obviously, you don't know what this does to a woman. Uh-uh. What? <clears throat> Being this close to a cute baby can trip a girl's fertility into overdrive. <laughs> You're kidding. Am I? And that's the last one right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Just get this to Nadine, and, uh, and I'll be a free man. Well, thanks a lot, Ross. Well, Billy, it wasn't all that complicated. Yeah, well, even when these things are, are simple, they're complicated. You know, I'll just be glad to have it over with. The sooner I'm rid of Nadine, the better. Amen to that. Well, I should be smooth sailing from here on in. Mm -hmm. I'll be in touch with you. Okay, thanks. See you tomorrow, boss. Bye.